In the first video, there were comments asking for more details about the components I used in making the CNC pendant. Another one asked how it interfaces with the CNC machine. So in this video, I will discuss all the details about the components of this project. Let me show you first the CNC I have here. It's just a small 3-axis CNC. The control board of the machine is based on BD Rings ESP32 GRBL controller. I had been messing around with it since 2019 I think. I tried putting a display on it. I actually made it work before the pandemic started. I used the Arduino IDE, TFT ESPI library and little VGL. I was able to make the two libraries work together with GRBL. Back then little VGL is on version 6. Now it's on version 8. BD Ring now has Fluid NC. The biggest screen the ESP32 can support is a 3.5 inch RPI screen. I've seen slightly bigger screen on newer dev boards though. I tried updating my source code to little VGL8 but I think it might take some of my time. I am just showing you here that it is still possible to make the two work together. I made the screen work by editing a few lines of code in about 5 minutes of work. If there are anyone interested to know how to do that, comment down below. Please like and subscribe too. I first controlled the CNC tethered to the laptop. Then I remembered this firmware also acts as a server. So you can access the device wirelessly with a tablet or a phone. Or on a laptop with Wi-Fi. Anything with a browser. Let me show you how I access it through my iPad. I search for an access point. You will see an ESP32 access point and clicking on it will automatically open a web page. You will see a printer face like interface. You click in this area to move the X, Y, and Z. You can also send G-code commands here, change some machine configurations. Even send a G-code file. Just make sure you got a stable connection. Also pray that there will be no interruptions during the run. So now let me answer the two questions I mentioned earlier. How the CNC machine is set up to interface with the pendant. Then we'll move on to the component details. For this CNC pendant, I am using a different screen. It is an HMI screen or a human machine interface screen. It is a UART screen made by a company called DeWin. It connects to any MCU through the serial port. In this case, our MCU is the ESP32. I've seen HMI screens on trade shows before, but I thought they were quite expensive that time and can only be connected to industrial grade PLCs. So I was not keen taking a look at them. I also know about Nextian screens, which are also available. But for cheapskates like me, they are quite expensive to try. I got a hold of this screen when a guy named Rock Shang offered free samples on Facebook. I shouldered the shipping cost plus the customs tax and duties. Not bad to have something new to play with. Using this kind of screen removes the size limit I have using the SPI base screen. This screen have its own controller which makes it perform way much better. There are more LCD models coming from the same company but I think I got the latest one. I was also told that this is the most cost effective model the company offers. Another difference I saw compared with the previous models is the availability of I.O. pins. It is like buying an ESP32 dev board with a built-in LCD touch screen. When I checked the available I.O. pins, I saw two available external interrupts. And that's what led me to use this screen for this CNC pendant project I originally planned using ESP32 with an RPI display. There are a lot more I.O. pins I can exploit. But these screens are originally just intended to be connected with microcontrollers UART interface. 
The older models only pins out power supply pins and a pair of serial pins. The older models also uses 6 to 12 volts, while the model I got only needs 5 volts. This series of screen ranges in size from 2.4 inch to 7 inches. I developed the jog wheel pendant for the 5 inch screen, but I can easily redevelop for the other screen size. By the way, this series of screen is called the COF series. COF means chip on flex cable. I think this made this series cost lower. Flexible cables are not for those with flimsy hands so I just put some double adhesive foam tape to secure it. Of course you can opt for the older boards which comes with PCB boards which are more durable. One more thing I like about this screen compared with the SPI LCDs is the screen's color quality and view angle. And since it has its own processor it's more responsive. It performs way much faster. Also since this is a UART screen, it only requires two IO pins and a ground line. So compared to the SPI or RPI screen which consumes seven IO pins from your MCU this makes more IO pins available for you. Since I power the pendant from the MCU there are four lines from the MCU to the pendant. In future videos, I will discuss in more details how this HMI screen interacts with the MCU or in our case the ESP32. One thing I can say using touch screens as an HMI device is you get to save on the MCU's I.O. pins. Imagine that instead of connecting a physical button per I.O. pin you can just put all the buttons you need on the screen and just call back a function for each of those buttons. Let me show you the extension board of the COF screen. This here is the MCU the screen uses. It is a dual core 8051 processor. I think it is one of the most common processor that came out. So aside from driving the screen it also provides around 30 IO pins. Dewin improved on the 8051 and called it the T5L processor. You can program the IO pins if you need to. You program it using the C language on the kill ID. That may be another topic on a later video after discussing how the screen works with the ESP32. With regards to the cost of the COF screen, it ranges from $20 to $30 for the 2.4 to 7 inch screen size including the $6 expansion board. Pretty cheap considering you get a quality HMI screen with a built-in microprocessor. Enough details for the screen. Let's now discuss the other major component. Which is the jog wheel. I got this jog wheel for around $10 delivered. This is a 100 PPR jog wheel. PPR means pulses per revolution. So it makes 100 pulses each turn. Which translates to 100 millimeters or 100 centimeters each time we turn it depending on the multiplier it is set. This jog wheel comes in 5 and 12 volts variety. I power it off direct from the HMI screen which also needs 5 volts so make sure you get the 5 volts variety. It also comes in a single or two pair of A and B pins. We can use both but the single pair is enough for our need. So including the power pins. There are 4 pins connected to the HMI control board. I connect pins A and B to the two external interrupt pins of the control board. Be sure to add a pull-up resistor to both pins, otherwise we will be getting floating values. In summary, there really are just two major components that make up this CNC pendant. Plus the cable and the two resistors. The HMI LCD screen together with the jog wheel is connected to the CNC machine using the UART interface. We are now not limited to a 3.5 inch screen size using this UART HMI LCD screen. We can even go up to 7 inch without the cost. If you have come this far, I will greatly appreciate if you at least hit the like button. Even better if you comment and subscribe. In the next videos, I will discuss the tools needed to develop for this HMI screen and how to make it work with a microcontroller. If you wish to try and buy this screen, it is available on AliExpress. 
I will be putting a discount code you can use. Free samples are also available to qualified users if you send a request to Rock Shang's email. Also on the descriptions. That's it. Thank you for watching.